Welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to the video that I teased down at Supercar Seller Storage, where we have now arrived at the Drive Chronicles private car collection. And I don't quite know where to start because I'd been teased and I'd been sent a few photos of what I was expecting to see. But ladies and gentlemen, this is quite possibly the most unbelievable collection of cars, specifications and displayed in a way that, well, this is the lighting for two of the cars that are in this collection. And if I just bring the camera up this way, you get the idea. A Pagani Imola, one of five, the only right-hand drive car in the entire world, next to a Carbon Wira Roadster. Not a bad way to kick things off. And we've got an entire U-shaped garage to go round. So why not start with these two absolute masterpieces from Italy? So I will perch myself right next to this McLaren Senna and we will have a quick look around these two cars. But what I want you guys to take proper detail in is just how impeccable this garage is. And as displays goes, just completely unbelievable. And seeing as I said that quite a lot in the video that I did at SCS, <laughs> this is a level up. So I'm currently in the south side of the garage. And as you can see, there are a number of Ferraris over there in the Ferrari section of the garage. And it spans the entire way around this building and into this section of the garage. And you can tell why I've started in this section because down there is a whole bunch of colorful Lamborghinis. But what I love about this collection is each car, each spec is so individual. And actually in many cases, they are one of one specs. You won't see them anywhere else in the world. And this is probably the first and potentially only Pagani Imola <laughs> think I'll ever see. Full bare carbon, dark blue with the natural carbon coming through here, an absolute work of art and all the way around it is such an aggressive version of the Pagani wire. You've got a huge wing, a huge fin through the middle and the roof scoop here. Look at the side skirts down here and the doors beautifully open for, again, as we know with Paganis in general, everything that they do is produced to the highest quality and is an absolute masterpiece. Every component of this car could be framed and be put in an art gallery and <laughs> it would probably be worth a hell of a lot of money. So look at the exhausts back here, Imola on the exhaust system. Look at this as a demonic rear view. And then over here, we've got a beautiful full bare carbon with a true blood metallic pinstripe around the sort of eyelets or the eyebrows of the tail lights. Again, here we have the entire hood exposing the V12 that is in there. And the interior, once again, I actually really, really love the Wira Roadster and the way that they've got this almost like flared out section here, which just, I think, accentuates the lines of the Wira a little bit more. And I've actually missed out on this one of one Rolls-Royce Phantom Series A. Let me show you the plaque down here on the door card because it's a special artist who has designed the art gallery here on the dash there, but very cool. Not a bad place to start with these two. And we can then move on down to the rather ridiculous McLaren Senna in orange with loads of blue details and it works so well. Number one, two, three, just noticed that. Very cool. I love the color of blue that you get here with all of the satin exposed carbon all over the McLaren Senna. And we can wander down to this very special MSO 675 LT Spider that when the light hits it it goes like a sort of goldy sunset yellow but then you can come around here and the whole front of the car will completely transform as will the side of the car where you get the blue the purple the pink hue orange brake calipers and then have a look at the interior absolutely mental 
purple again matching the exterior of the car down here for the engine start the gear select down here and then an orange and quilted purple inserts with a almost like a turquoise blue carbon down here on the steering wheel there all the way down here what a monstrous spec that we have on this 675 lt it's like a blue teal carbon <laughs> ridiculous amazing spec i don't think i've ever seen a car this highly specced come out of mclaren before and i'm sure if you work for mclaren you might be able to confirm that this must be one of the highest spec 675 lts in existence then we have a vanquish DBS Superleggera, which again, both beautiful cars, but kind of get lost in and amongst the craziness because then we've got a GT2 RS, a GTR Pro, a Novitec Aventador, an Aventador SVJ, a purple, satin purple Hurricane STO, and then a matching satin red Hurricane Performante to go with the SVJ and it has got the proper wheels. I love the wheels on this SVJ. These are the wheels I'd have if I was gonna spec one from new. This is one side of the garage, which looks rather spectacular. And then there's a Urus Performante over there as well, um, which looks like it's either parked up and is the daily driver at the moment, or it's getting a little bit of work done, maybe getting some tires changed. I don't know, there's some tires over there, but this is definitely a workshop ramp for anything that needs doing to any one of these cars. But look at that. all of the number plates, I'm sure you've noticed are very, very special and match the car. I really like the gold Performante underneath the wing right there. You've got gold pinstripes there. You've got the gold Lamborghini badge as well. And as you can see, a whole collection of colors. It's almost like the rainbow in here, which I absolutely love. There's a part of me that would want to do the identical spec so that you've got a uniform collection but i think i would struggle because some cars look so much better in other colors really like that svj spec really really smart gtr pro and then i mean who doesn't love an aston martin okay i am very much out of breath going through that side of the garage but we have now come into the ferrari side now this is the side where all of the specs go crazy. We've got some of the most classic looking Ferraris you can ever imagine next to some of the most beautiful, unique specs that I absolutely love. We're actually gonna leave these ones till last because right there, that 812 Comp Aperta is probably the best spec 812 Comp I have seen. We will start all the way down this end at the beautiful SF90 Spider, and next to it is actually a rather nice gap fit for one more Ferrari. Now, of course, as you can imagine, with a collection like this, there are a number of cars on order. So I have no idea how these guys work out, where the cars are gonna go, how they're gonna be organized. But that's the side that we were just on over there. So all of this here is garage man cave, the ultimate when it comes to a private collection, but also the perfect hangout spot. I'm gonna flick the camera around so that we can go through all of these cars in order finishing up with the 812 Comp and the 812 GTS. As I've said in previous videos, a silver Ferrari just does it for me. And an SF90 is one of my favorite looking Ferraris. So when I saw this, the diamond cut wheels, the silver brake calipers, the silver with the carbon exterior, and then the light interior, I don't know whether it's a Sabia interior, but the spec is absolutely perfect. Look at the piping with the Ferrari, there you've got the Alcantara, Alcantara sorry, grey suede seat stripe. Is that the best way to describe it? But it's actually come together really, really nice. You've got a bit of grey leather. You've got some light stitching here in the centre console. You've got a beautiful steering wheel. When you look into the detail of every single one of these cars, a lot of thought has gone into how they look and how they're going to finish up and roll off the production line. And then we move on to the Pista, which I actually think tops this. This is beautiful. It's the triple layer. It might be Bianco Fuji. I'll have to double check, but it's the metallic balloon white, full carbon exterior pack, a dark, deep blue stripe with this interior. Look at this. Double stitch down there, white stripe, 
beautiful blue the white on the steering wheel the white pinstripe around the paddle shift you've got a pinstripe through there it is absolute perfection now that the sun's out as well we're getting some crazy shadows so it's kind of distracting away from the spec of this car we've got a satin gray satin black pista with the double yellow stripe mad gold wheels yellow brake calipers look at the interior on this it is a monster and it actually matches the ferrari branding behind but red black and yellow an absolute classic when it comes to ferrari so the combination here is a lot wilder than these two specs and that's what i love about this collection is you have some really really smart classy looking cars and then you've just got some wild ones which when you go down to these two they've got some modifications done adv1 wheels they've been lowered this one's got a little lip here the 430 spider's got a lip down at the bottom there this has got a lot of exterior carbon you've got carbon vents here carbon wing mirrors an interesting interior red black black roof you've got a little carbon wing at the back carbon holders here blacked out tail lights what a monster like this a few years ago cruising around london would be the absolute dream and then wind the years back even 10 15 years that would be an absolute weapon cruising around london monaco wherever 430 spider modified novi tech pipes on a 430 so so cool and then park next to a 355 spider in rosso corsa with crema and actually this space here is for a ferrari 308 and then that bmw there was the owner's first ever car so how cool is that that he has this in this collection too and because it's red i assume it's in with all of the ferraris but there's some of the ferraris look at this <laughs> <laughs> that's what i mean all of the collection the garage it's displayed perfectly there's been so much thought and passion going into this collection that it is just absolutely beautiful i think the mc20 is a bit of a quirky addition to some of these cars and it kind of slips in with all of the ferraris that we have here but let's make our way down because i believe this tdf is probably the same paint as the pista spider you've got the red the yellow and the black on the interior as well so one of the most unique spec f12 tds that i have seen then we move on to this speciali aperta which is the last ever speciali aperta to come off the ferrari production line and that was down to the blue carbon that this car has so in theory this is the last ever naturally aspirated v8 that ferrari ever produced so if you look down here this is blue carbon it's got blue carbon down across the front splitter and inside here as well down on the side skirts and on the fins here it's blue carbon and ferrari spent an absolute age look at this this is all blue carbon this casing on the tail light is blue carbon all of the rear diffuser again blue carbon so ferrari spent a long time perfecting the spec of this car meaning that it was so delayed off the production line it actually got delivered halfway through the ferrari 488 production how insane is that as a story look at all this memorabilia lighting the way this place is it is done to absolute perfection as is this 812 competizione aperta i don't know the paint code it looks a little bit like grigio medio but i could be wrong and then we've got awesome wheels tire writing in yellow the yellow details around the carbon stripe across the oh is that like a dark gray or a dark blue interior i think they're all open so let's have a look oh it's like a dark gray with a little bit of a blue as well there's definitely a a different color shade going on it smells beautiful in here this is hands down my favorite ferrari of the collection i'm going to be very careful here to not get fingerprints on the car there we go look at the number plate on that unbelievable and then next to the 812 competizione aperta we've got a lovely red 812 gts with the really nice smart black leather red stripe red stripe through the dash there the most diverse variation of specs and cars i think i've ever seen in one collection 
absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I have burned so many calories. I basically felt like I've run five kilometers to do this tour. And I have to say a massive thank you to the owner and the guys at the Drive Chronicles who have allowed me to come down here to share their passion with me. And hopefully this translates to you on video as well of just how special, how eclectic. It is just a beautiful collection of cars that range from 355, a very, very early BMW over there, all the way through to a McLaren Senna, all under one roof. So I will leave a link in the description to these guys' YouTube channel, Instagram, and I will let you guys go off and explore as well. But a truly honorable experience to come and check out these cars. And hopefully I have done it justice. Again, I'm out of breath. I will leave the video there. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this mind-blowing experience. I cannot believe I've brought this video to you all the way from Cape Town, but I will see you very soon, guys. Head over to my Instagram as well to have a look at some of these cars up close in a little bit more detail. Take care, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.